And that's what we're going to do. Well, when, baby? Let's go. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a party. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at, well, the Cloud 2 by Cloud Mods. Now, I've reviewed tanks from these guys before. Uh, I think the last one I did was the V4 Blasted, I think it was. Was the last one? I could be wrong. Somebody feel free to correct me. Uh, and the previous RTAs that I reviewed from these guys were very, very good. They were very good uh, and I've had this one for a couple of weeks now and I'm now in a place to give you a review. So, aside from this beautiful little pouch, what do you actually get? Well inside you're going to get an authenticity card and uh, they just wrote my name in it. Inside you'll also get your tank and I'm not 100% sure. I should actually ask, uh, but um, there is a, a spare uh, tank with mine as well here. The tank is PC-1000 on these things. So this is stainless steel 316L and you're looking at uh, inside here we've got 316 screws as well. Uh, peak insulators, I told you about the PC-1000 tank which is yeah, it, it's obviously if you're using hardcore tank crackers, then it will still give this stuff yeah a little bit of grief. But it's one of the, in my opinion, it's one of the best polycarbs that you can get, and it will handle most stuff. Uh, NBR O-rings, you get the leather case, and you also get this Delrin drip tip. All this comes to 190 euros, and you've got 25 euros on top for shipping, and it will come from Greece where it's made. Dimensions are 22 millimeters in diameter. Now the tank height is 35 millimeters without the 510 and not including the drip tip. So that's from here to here. However, see the stainless steel bit? Uh, that is actually your juice flow control as well. Just screwing that up and down. So that goes up and down obviously, but obviously you're going to take that into consideration as well. You do get this Delrin drip tip, which is goes on like so. So that is the actual height of your atty. Standard 510 drip tips will go in there and obviously you want to go and check out Simply Tips. Now logo wise we've got the cloud mods, standard logo there, little cloud. Nothing big and offensive that looks like broccoli at all. Uh, 510 does protrude just a little bit there. Not a great deal, but it does protrude. Uh, we've got the Cloud Mods since 2015 and Cloud 2 on there. But I think what we'll do is take this to bits. Now, uh, obviously I said that the, the drip tip comes out. If you want to fill this, just back off the top piece here. You would obviously screw down this first. You'd want to close off the juice flow control and then back this off few turns and out she comes. Now one thing I will say at the start is that uh, when you put this back on, uh, now the threading is lovely on this device, it's done really well, but when you put this down, don't feel the need to crank it. In fact, when you screw it down, back it off a quarter turn. Just just back it off uh, because this is once if you bind it right down that's really smooth there there's not a lot of purchase that you can get on here and it will bind it's, it's easy to get it to bind so just screw it down back it off just a tiny tiny little bit and so that it moves freely and you'll not have any issues if you want to take the deck out you would turn it upside down and you just unscrew the base like so quite a few threads on this to get it out but uh, and they're quite fine the threads but they are super smooth and I'll just show you this if I can pop this piece out here just comes out like that those of you that know the cloud atty from before will be used to this but uh, just to show you this the, the threading here is really really nice they, they've done a good job in that in fact the machining in the deck here is done well and yes they did write my name in it. Now the bore on this is, on the drip tip is it's about 3.8 I think it is and you can see how narrow it is down there. Now this is, in my opinion, works for mouth to lung and restricted direct lung but you got a nice domed you know, bell cap inside there if you like. Uh, going to the deck, so all you've actually got that you can do here is, is just back off the positive screw. So we'll take that right out and there's, there's not much that you can really do. Uh, 
that comes off in just two seconds I just I forgot to take off the AFC I'll come back to that but this piece here everything is, is just one bit so it's just one lump of metal apart from that positive post there and there's just you know your insulator underneath and yeah you can see here we'll take this up close oh too close too close you see there's your wicking holes there so you can control how much you let in like that and it's all really smooth and, and I'm quite impressed with the machining on this one it's it's quite nice so the AFC and the way it works is if you look your air holes are slap bang in front of your build deck here so you can see you've got three 1.2 millimeter air holes and these are angled from here these go right up uh, hopefully you can see where they're coming out just in the front there so yeah they come up at quite a steep angle into your deck now with those being 1.2 if I just pop on my AFC here what happens is you've got this two holes here and one hole here these are 1.5 mil in diameter but basically you turn it all the way one way you'll get where am I there we are turn it all the way one way you get your single air hole all the way the other way you'll get two or bang in the middle you can have all three open and I'll talk about draw and so on at the end but I think we'll just stick a build in here first I think the post holes are about 1.2 mil could be wrong in that one but uh, using my dodgy calipers it seems to be now you can see here that we have a place to rest our coiling rod but just to give you an idea in size this is a 2.5 ID fuse clapton and you know when I just kind of hold it in there you can see that this is, is for me as far as complex coils go like fuse claptons and things like that this is as big as you would go would be a 2.5 this is a 3 millimeter ID uh, just a simple round wire build but you can see that uh, that just sits in there perfectly using the coiling rods and this is what I'm going to go with uh, this is uh, 0 0.4 ohm it's just a build I like uh, and yeah I'll tell you about what I've done with mouth to lung builds and so on as well there we go uh, remember always get your legs cut flush at the back and uh, yeah this goes without saying most of you know this just because it fits in there doesn't mean that you should use a certain build because it can just choke up your airflow but that works the other way sometimes. Sometimes you want to restrict the air on a device or you've got too much air, putting a slightly beefier build in and more cotton can uh, work in your favour. So it's entirely up to you. As far as cotton goes, there's nothing complicated here. I just cut to the outside edge of the atty. Same on the other side. Give her a little snip up the way like that and down the way like that. And I've got something like that. Then just poke my cotton down in front of the wicking holes there. And then because I'm a weirdo, uh, I've got a little bit of wire and I just like to poke it through the, the wicking holes just to push the, the cotton back a little bit to make sure that it's not going to choke off and uh, stop the wicking happening. Primer up a little bit and yes, I did pulse this coil so there's no issues there. I'm going to grab my cap and I'm just going to screw this on here to make sure I've got it down all the way. Obviously this doing this from putting a brand new build in, uh, get my cap, my tank back on here, pop her through, screw that down. There we go. Make sure this is screwed down so my juice flow control is off. Back off here. Fill it up with juice. If I didn't say, I probably didn't. Three and a half millilitres of juice. And I should have said that there is a an O-ring underneath the, the top cap here well it's Greek there's o-rings everywhere you know how it works so screw that down and then just back it off a turn and then I'm just going to open up the juice flow control a little bit and then we'll take it from here so once again I'm using my little if mods duo uh, there is a review coming for this soon and, and there we go uh, now you can see here that it's got more of a brushed look on the tank it's not highly polished uh, the cloud 2 but uh, that's us we're ready to go for a vape so there you go the cloud 2 by cloud mods uh, right how's it been going okay first things first 
This is, now remember the air hole sizes, you've got three air holes that come from the base and go right up uh, and they are 1.2 millimeter in size and you can close them down to one, two or have all three open. The AFC on the outside, the air holes there are, you've got one 1.5, two 1.5s and you know the Cyclops have all three open. It is not going to, in my opinion, uh, it is not going to look after anybody that's looking, you know, looking for a 0 0.8 to a 1 mil draw. If you're in that area, it's too loose for you. It is too loose. And for restricted direct lung users, it is a tight restricted direct lung. Uh, for example, right now, I am, I'm on one ear hole right now and... And yet, yeah, to me, that feels about, well, 1.2. It actually feels almost 1.1, 1.2. It's in that region. And opening it right up doesn't doesn't give you a, a, a much of a, a really loose restricted direct lung. It still feels like a tight RDL. So there's, there's quite a, a narrow window in this one. And I um, don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but... Uh, if that's the range you're looking for, then you'll be happy with it. The flavour is superb. I have no issues with the flavour on this at all. Um, building in it, dead easy. With the builds, yeah. I, I personally think that a 2.5 ID works the best in here. I did for this video put a 3mm ID simple round wire build to show you that it will go in but yeah 2.5s work well for me i will say with the the smaller coils and if you're going more mouth to lung then i found that i had to drop the coil down a little bit more because it was just i was getting throat hit it was just too much throat hit for me so i just dropped the coil down a little bit more than where it it lands on the coiling rod but that was only for the the tighter draw. Other things to watch out for, um, once again the top cap, it is, and hopefully this focus here, you can see that, yeah, there's not a lot to purchase on there, there's not a lot to get a grip on, so screw it up and back it off, quarter turn and you'll not have any issues. Uh, remember, you do. You can put your own drip tip in there. It will have to be a tight fit because you use this to control the, the juice flow control. The juice flow control works as well as it's always worked. I mean, this system has been around for years and, uh, and it does the job. Just remember when you turn it upside down to take the deck off that, uh, you know, this piece here does move up and down. Uh, so be wary of that. You won't have any issues, but just remember it does move up and down. I've now opened up the air holes to have all three open. I've put the wattage up a bit and... Uh, yeah, it, it's definitely... And please excuse me whilst I do this. It's a bit tighter than the har fully open. Hey, it's a tank I know well, so I'm, I'm going to use it for a comparison. But yeah, it's a bit tighter than the, the har fully open. So final thoughts on the Cloud 2. I'm not going to knock it on the flavour front. Um, I do like... The, I like the way they've done the deck. Uh, the machining on it, the threading and everything is, is top notch. It's, it really is good. Um, the airflow, yeah, I've no issues with that. Uh, and it's expensive. And, and a lot of these atties seem to be going really through the roof in price. Uh, so you're 195 euros and 25 euros delivery. And in the UK, I don't know if we'll get hit with customs on that. So yes, it's 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 not cheap this one. But as always, these are small, tiny companies making these in small, limited numbers, and that's just the business model to go for. But as a result, you're going to pay more, and. It's in your budget or it isn't. It's your decision at the end of the day. The PC1000 is it's a hard wearing um, material, but uh, if you're using hardcore tank crackers, then yeah, even PC1000 may struggle with that. Just want to say a big thank you to the guys at Cloud Mods for sending this on. I did get chocolate to do this review. And to you guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Bye for now. Before today, um, then you'll know that cloud modes and cloud modes, cloud modes. <laughs>